TVA Tennessee Valley Authority is making history with the nation's first early site permit for small modular reactors. It's at the Clinch River nuclear site in Kingston. Our Ellie Bird was there as Governor Bill Lee toured the site today. I'm here at the Clinch River nuclear site in Roan County, where today Governor Bill Lee, accompanied by a congressman and Tennessee Valley Authority officials, told us of the future of this proposed site. TVA says it hopes to complete their overall goal of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. In February 2022, TVA launched its new nuclear program and approved $200 million to advance reactor technology. Governor Bill Lee has already committed $50 million to this new nuclear program. New day in America for understanding um, energy and the production of energy going forward. Certainly things have changed dramatically over the decades. One of the things that's changed most is the need for clean, reliable energy. Small modular reactors or SMRs use fission to create heat that generates energy like a traditional nuclear reactor, but they are designed to be much smaller than the others. The project consists of four different units of the Clinch River site. Jeff Lash, CEO of TVA, says this is only the beginning if everything works out. And if we're successful here, we'll build four units and the success building four units will allow us to move on and develop other sites. There are people who live close to this site, but Lash says they are involved with the process and he assures it's safe. This design takes a very safe technology and takes it to entirely new levels of safety. He says this should bring more jobs to Tennessee and can save money and lives. Governor Lee hopes this will pave the way for nuclear technology in America. Now the governor did tell us today that this project would be conducted in phases and would take about five to 10 years to be completed. In Roan County, I'm Ellie Bird, WVLT News, back to you in the studio.